Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back. Less than a week away before Labor Day. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Boone's good to see you. Staff, CTU, John, Rich, good to see you all. Eric, everybody. Mark, good to see you. Ken, everyone. All right, guys. So uh, before we get into some excitement, the like uh, the OPTT going on today, the market is down about 125 points so far in pre-market. Uh, I rarely would ever say this, but am I allowed to say that it kind of sucks in the morning? <laughs> I don't see anything going on in pre-market other than some ETFs. I really don't see that much going on. I'll be honest with you. I'm looking around. There's a couple of stocks on the short side. You know, sometimes it happens. It does happen. But we always know that something might come out of the gate at 930. But we'll check out. I got about like four or five stocks I saw I found this morning. I know some of you guys were looking at it. But other than that, pre-market, I mean, uh, some of the ETFs go moving on pre-market. That's about it. I mean, unless you guys see something differently, I don't really see too much going on out there uh, with going on in the market. Now, I don't know about you also. It's like storming anywhere all over the United States. Uh, I've never seen it rain so hard yesterday in front of my house yesterday in New York. It's raining again here. So I always like not to give you a weather update, not because I'm the weather guy. It's just that weather does have effect when especially uh, going into a weekend because people are thinking, well, should I leave early? Should I go to the Hamptons out east? Should I get ready for the, you know, get back to my summer home and stuff like that? And uh, as of right now, I think it's going to be kind of quiet. So I, I, that's good because then I mean people are going to stick around. We might get some volatility out there. But there are a couple of things out there we are going to check out. But, uh, but the OPTT was actually, we'll talk about this one a little bit. Some of you remember back in April, we traded this stock. It gapped up from five. It went, opened up at seven, shot right up to like 16, won about three, four hundred percent movers of the day. I always love to see that coming back to it. Just make sure you check your uh check your journals and make sure that they if you did trade it and you were with c2 back then definitely check it out and see how you did on it lb though i want to talk about what happened yesterday there were a couple of good stocks yesterday that we did trade it was a good pre-market short right there in that lb that did just phenomenal and then we just had a nice little bounce what do we always remember about you got to remember regarding about uh stocks that get destroyed we know about etfs and we also know about stocks that are i'm sorry stocks that are pharmaceutical stocks that don't come back and other ones that aren't do come back so we got a little bit of action on this one any uh nete was pretty decent uh going into the close yesterday she gapped up pretty nice went from 350 to 550 nice little move there also and then she kind of like flat line but that was about it i mean it wasn't really that much out there i could sit there and brag and say we had a great day i'm telling you we talked about this during the Christmas holidays. We talk about this, you know, during tax season. We talk about this during Thanksgiving. You know, it, what it is, what it is. And um, we just be very fortunate that we did get some pretty nasty volatility going on. And, you know, I'm not a fan of ETFs, but that kind of more or less with, t with, with uh, what's happening in the, in, the, in the Dow being so volatile, that's really pretty much what we've been doing pretty well on other than a couple here and there. And for some of you guys that are new, just keep in mind, we do definitely – you, you know this list gets about 10 to 15 deep when it, when the market's really fun. So whatever you miss, you could always do it. And that's why we're doing the classes right now. And remember, you're right now in phase two. It's almost done because it's Friday. Next week's going to be phase three with me. And uh, there's no better time to learn now than, than in the busier time, which is September, October, November. So what is moving this morning and what is look pretty good? Let's go start off with uh, Hewlett Packer, HPQ. The stock is just getting pretty decimated lately. Took a nice little hit right here. Want to hold it overnight. Wake up when it was at 2150. Boom at 1890. Now it's down 1760. Looks like it's uh, testing some support levels, I think, from that chart. But uh, who knows? The stock's not looking too well. Could be a nice short, you know, going into the open. Foot Locker. I don't understand how this company stays in business. Um, I mean, with between the outlets and everything. I mean, but uh, it's still there. I mean, it's taking a big hit. Could probably be a nice little short right there also. Could be testing some support levels. It did have a little bit of a push uh, recently, but it looks like it's going right back to where it started. So Foot Locker, I'm not going to hold anything against them. Actually, I think I bought my first pair of sneakers at Foot Locker for the first time about uh, March. I can't forget because that's actually when I started with my personal trainer. So I, I haven't been there probably since I was 18 years old. So it's still there. It's still, it's still chucking away, you know. 
OPTT, another one. Once again, that's the one that's on the watch list. I want to keep a close eye on it. Um, it's testing some support levels from yesterday's previous resistance levels. CVIX is one of the ETFs that did pop up on the radar. You can see here at 8 o'clock, went from 1640 to 1780. Be careful if you're a beginner trader, if you're new to Cybertrain University, if you're not one of our students, at least you're about two, three months into our training. Stay away from ETFs, guys. There are 25,000 stocks out there. You guys know, students, been here long enough. These things will run circles around you. But unfortunately, with a day like today, looks like some of these things are moving. So if you are a beginner, I just tell you, just trade 10 times less shares. That's the way to go. DWT is also another one also. Uh, regarding about the ETFs there. That one is also moving pretty nicely too. But other than that, I, I, don't, I don't really see anything that much out there. I mean, you got the Foot Locker down 12% with 700,000 shares. Uh, HPQ, quarter million shares down 9%. Uh, what's this sealed? I just I came up right here. Oh, this one just tanked. This one just came from nowhere. All right, well, we know this one ain't coming back. <laughs> it's, how do we know that? Just read the name. <laughs> just read that name. All right, so... Yeah, OPTT is up 40%. That's it. I mean, look at the percentage gain. There's really not a lot out there. Not really a lot. All right, anything, guys, that uh, you found that I did not find? Wayne uh, made about five cents uh, on the FLHL. All right, give him a round of applause. Can't go broke taking a profit, Wayne. Better than a loss. <laughs> All right, listen. Like I told you earlier when we started, I, I really kind of stinks out there. It's perfectly okay. We all, and one of the big things we teach in phase three, it's not about um, the goal is having a good winning day, a good losing day, and two flat days. Not every day is all rainbows and puppy dogs. So um, you got to take what the market can give you, especially on a Friday. So be very careful how we trade on Fridays. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. Enjoy your classes today with Josh. And if I don't see you, uh, we'll see you back next week. And don't, um, we'll see you back next week, all right, for our last uh, week of summer. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.